Niger's Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Guillermo, has directed all international airlines to vacate the Murtala Mohammed International Airport from October 1st, 2023. He said this was to give room for total maintenance work at the airport. The minister said this during a tour of the International Airport in Lagos, where he was accompanied by the managing director of the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria, Kabir Yusuf Mohammed. Now, joining our storm pack this latest development is our correspondent, Perpetua Fasimi Peter. Uh, well, welcome to you, Perpetua. Thank you for having me. Now, Perpetua, you were on ground at the airport earlier today. Could you give us uh, an analysis of what you witnessed and what the mood is like uh, around the airport? All right, I'll start with the mood. Well, the mood is a very friendly one. People are happy and excited to have the minister around. And of course, uh, he did a tour of the airports, both the local and the international. So while we were at the local airport, he talked about a lot of things that he wanted to be worked on. Uh, for example, he saw some spaces and he said those spaces should be redesigned and probably given to advertisers so they can generate money from those places. And then he made it a uh, very clear to find that he wanted revenue generation, that the hallmark of, you know, what he wanted from there was revenue generation. That was what he said when we were at the local arm of Muritala Mohammed International Airport. But then by the time we moved to the international arm, of course, uh, we have uh, the old terminal and the new terminal. And, and I can tell you for a fact that uh, when we got there, we could perceive the smell. Some places were smelling, some places were leaking. In the old terminal? In the old terminal, okay. yes. Some places were leaking, some places were smelling, and at a point, I think we couldn't even, you know, progress because a particular place was smelling. We had to probably just go back and all of that. So it was at that point we got to a particular place, and then he said, you know what? This particular terminal cannot even take bigger aircraft. So why do we even have it? Who even gave the approval to, to build something like this in the first place? So it was at that point he said, okay, that he's going to tell the international airlines to relocate uh, their counters and go to the new terminal now the new terminal he said was built by the chinese and we also took a tour of that place we had a tour of that place and you can tell that you know the carousels everything there was really perfect everything there was good so that's actually a very good place and a better place really for you, us to use especially because we're welcoming in people into nigeria a lot of the persons are probably coming into nigeria for the first time even if it's not for the first time they're coming into nigeria and you know we should be able to tell them that we're amazing people we're welcoming and one of the ways to welcome them is to have you know a very good environment that's hospitality you know to say the least now, um, Perpetua, I'm, I'm happy you saw the old and the new, and uh, what are their provisions, and uh, would the new, did, did journalists ask questions? They asked the Honourable Minister if the uh, new international uh, terminal will be able to contain and accommodate all the airlines, and I also uh, lent that uh, it was built during the administration of former President uh, Mohammed Buhari, and that, you know, the uh, bays where the, air, the airplanes dock to disembark and also pick up passengers are not big enough for some airlines or they have uh, some design challenges. Uh, do you have any feedback on that? Oh, absolutely. So, uh, like I said, when we had a tour, we got to some places where he was saying that certain things were going to were going to be, you know, uh, taken away, taken off, so that we can expand the apron mm. and so that we can have some other things in place. So, absolutely, absolutely, he mentioned that. And of course, he also said that there will be a stopgap measure where we would have buses, a lot of buses. He even said we're going to probably do an emergency, um, uh, emergency. Um, Procurement, yes, emergency procurement, where we're going to be having buses so, so so that we can bring down the pressure on the new terminal. So he just said we're going to put some things in place. And he's really interested in, you know, positioning and making Nigeria, you know, look beautiful to people who are coming in, basically, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, finally, they say your airport is like a doormat uh, to your house. If you go to a person's house and the doormat is uh, dirty and uh, scanty, you, can, you know what to expect. Inside. So it's good to see the minister uh, make all these moves. Uh, Perpetua, from what you witnessed and uh, from the countenance of the minister, how soon do you think uh, they will get to work and Nigerians will begin to see uh, a difference uh, in the way our airports work? Well, you know, that's usually our concern as Nigerians because we hear a lot of talks 
and sometimes after these talks uh, we don't get to see uh, things on ground so that question was actually put to him you've said a lot of things so what happens to implementation because that's usually the challenge in nigeria and then he said it's either he gets sucked or the people who are supposed to do that, the agencies in charge of whatever it is, get sacked. He said either of that is going to happen, and that was uh, a way of him telling say, us that. Look, I'm, I'm in business. Exactly, yeah. yes. Thank That's you very it. much uh, for your insights, uh, Perpetua. Always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for having me.